Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dom and today we are checking out Oxygen OS on the OnePlus One. So this is finally available and if you want to download it and install it on your OnePlus One, I'll be sure to leave a link down below in the description for you. But let's go ahead and check it out. So as you can see here, everything is rather basic. This is just kind of your standard stock lollipop look and feel. Of course, we have our app drawer, various apps that are installed. Nothing special happening here. I did go ahead and root this, um, but really there's not much happening out of the box. They do include a file manager over here, which you can access your files and internal storage, but that's nothing special because you know that's widely available on the play store and baked into every other rom basically so we have our standard pages you can make new pages just by moving your icons over there tap and hold to access your wallpapers widgets and settings and of course you can rearrange your home screens here as well uh, but let's go ahead and hop into the notification shade where we will find some additional customizations so as you can see, we have our quick toggles up here at the top, but if we tap on this little button in the corner here, uh, we can actually go ahead and rearrange these toggles. So if you tap and hold on them, you can kind of move them around as you please, uh, get a different look if you want something in a different spot. But if you'd like to just disable some of these, maybe you don't use uh, cast screen and you don't use the invert colors and hotspot, you just have to tap on those and then they will disappear. So I can go ahead and tap on all of them Press done up here, and now you can see I have absolutely no toggles. So you can get rid of those if you want. And in order to bring them back, you just have to tap on those icons again. It'll pull them back up. And you can also reset the configuration or the layout of the icons if you've moved them around quite a bit. You can reset it using that reset button. Pretty simple, but I do like this level of customization happening. It's very neat. Jumping into the app drawer, we are going to launch the settings app and check out a little more about what's involved with Oxygen OS. So nearly everything else that you're going to find useful about this ROM is located within the settings app here. And of course at the top under our wireless and networks, you have all of the standard stuff that you'll find in Lollipop, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, our more section with NFC, Android Beam, Tethering Hotspot, VPN cellular networks, emergency broadcast, and an airplane mode switch. Nothing special happening there. Moving down to the device section, uh, we do have some stuff such as buttons, gestures, display, sound and notification, storage, battery, etc. But in the button section here, you will find some of the basic options that we had with CM11S on the OnePlus One, uh, where you can disable the buttons down here at the bottom. So if you don't want those kind of capacitive buttons down there at the bottom, you can disable those and turn it into on-screen navigation buttons, which I actually prefer. So if you want to use the capacitive buttons down here, you do have settings for that. We can adjust the backlight. You can adjust the uh, home button and menu button actions. So if you want to set a long press action for the home button, you can have it pull up various items here. And for the menu button, we have short press and long press actions, all with those same default options. So not a lot to choose from, but it's there. And again, this is really nothing new. So backing out to the main settings page and going into the gestures portion, we have the standard one plus one gestures that we saw on CM11S. So as you can see, we have double tap to wake, draw a circle to open the camera, draw a V to toggle the flashlight on and off, and we have music controls. So let's back out to the main settings page here. And in display, well, we have our basic display controls. Brightness level, adaptive brightness, wallpaper. Uh, we can customize the lock screen wallpaper. So if you want to uh, use a specific wallpaper on your lock screen, you can go ahead and do that. And we do have some OnePlus wallpapers that are available in here. So that's a nice little touch. You can go ahead and customize that and, and separately customize the home screen wallpaper as well. We have our sleep options, daydream options, which we can go ahead and start more or less a screensaver for your device. If we go ahead and daydream now, um, you can see that the clock just shows up in this like kind of faint mode. Nothing special though. Backing out here, uh, we do have ambient display mode, font size, and uh, rotation options and cast screen options. So not a whole lot. And I really don't have much else to say about Oxygen OS. 
It's a clean install of Android with a few minor customizations, but it seems to be running very speedy and that I am happy about. So let me know what you think about Oxygen OS in the comments section below. Like I said, it's nothing special, but it's a clean stock Android build for your OnePlus One that is straight from the source, and you really can't go wrong with that. Hopefully they add other customization options in the future, but until then, this is what we have. So go ahead and leave a comment down below and leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, as it does help out the channel a lot. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This is Dom, and have a great day.